guys welcome back to my channel my name is john if this is your first time watching my video please don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button to get notified of my new content so today i'm gonna show you the latest application process here at native camp and first let me give a shout out to miss michelle masong hello miss michelle so teach can you vlog the latest application for native camp so here's the vlog and also thank you to Teacher Jen, hello, Sis Jen. Thank you so much because she provided the details, the information on what to do with the demo lesson, with the uh, system check, and the step-by-step -step process. So thank you so much, Teach Jen. So now let's start. So, first, you have to prepare, of course, you have to prepare your laptop or your computer, and you need to have a headset like this or any kind of headset. And also, you need to have a stable internet connection. So, the speed, if I'm not mistaken, it should be 3 Mbps at least, 3 Mbps. And I would suggest for you to have a LAN connection or wired connected. But other, um, so we will get to that later for on the system check part. So there, if you are already prepared, if you have your uh, equipment and also the lighting. So the you should have a, a clear, uh, the facilitator should have a clear view of your background, of your face, of your video so now you have to go to nativecamp.net slash tutors that slash app dash process or you can go to nativecamp.net slash recruit slash sign up or you could just uh, google native camp application process and here is the step by step how to apply so first you have to register your email address so this email address is the one that you will be using also in logging in to your native camp platform once you get hired. So make sure that you are using your uh, the right email address and then you have to create your password and then you have to confirm your email. So you will uh, receive an email that you have to confirm your account. And then step two, fill out your information. So you have to put your name, your and also don't forget the referral email address of the teacher who referred you. And then third step is the EPT or the English proficiency test. So with the EPT, uh, this is a 40 item quiz and uh, you need to have a basic english knowledge and if you don't know the answer just google the answer and then for the ept um so for the item and you need to have a uh, so 85 percent passing rate and then next is have the system check for the system checks there is a schedule so make sure that uh, for example if you're living in manila in the philippines you have to choose manila time Okay, and then make sure to be there at that exact time and wait for the facilitator. And during the system check, so the facilitator will ask uh, about your equipment, about your computer, um, and also will check the, the audio quality, the video quality, your internet speed. And also you will be asked if you have an ESL teaching experience. ESL teaching experience is still a must. Okay, so you still need to have an ESL teaching experience to be able to apply at Native Camp. So if you don't have any teaching experience, ESL teaching experience, unfortunately, you will not be hired. And uh, if you have, uh, if you are a teacher by profession, perhaps you can tell that to the admin. But, but, um, uh, and also, they will not ask for a certification. No TESOL certification, no any other English certification needed. Then, next, fifth step is complete the self-learning program. So, here is the learning kit. 
So you have to study the materials carefully in order to take and pass a demo lesson. For the materials, there are two different kind of materials. The first one is the easier one, which is a grammar beginner four. Why do you need natto? And the second one is grammar middle. Would you mind me closing the windows? So for the self-learning program, you have to memorize or you have to know the lesson flow. Okay, so there is a bit uh, difference between grammar beginner and grammar middle, but uh, it's almost the same. And uh, also nowadays, uh, facilitators choose grammar middle. Okay, so grammar middle, that is, would you mind me closing the windows? And they are asking a bit difficult questions now. Okay, so there, so uh, just to uh, make sure to really understand the lesson flow and uh, make sure to check some grammar rules. So for the grammar middle, would you mind me closing the windows? So there is uh, there are grammar rules that's on the box that you have to uh, you have to really check. And then next part is the demo lesson. For the demo lesson, there is a schedule. Again, if you're in the Philippines, choose Manila time. Okay, make sure to be online on that specific time. And then. So after you have studied the teaching materials, please proceed to the demo lesson with our admin. So there you have to wait for the facilitator. And sometimes it uh, it will take a couple of minutes for them to appear, but just wait for them. And then for the demo lesson, of course, you have to be confident. Okay, so smile and follow and memorize the lesson flow. And also don't get intimidated with the facilitator. Okay, sometimes they will act as a strict student so make sure that you will not get intimidated and use the chat box always use the chat box for corrections and correct mistakes with a simple explanation and be mindful of the grammar mistakes like the subject verb agreement verb tenses etc okay and so you have to know the difference between would you mind me closing the windows and would you mind my closing the windows? So the me and my. So what's the difference be the, between those two? And uh, you can Google the answer. And uh, I think, well, the simplest explanation for that is that uh, with uh, me closing the window, the, uh, uh, the emphasis on the me and then my closing that's the emphasis is on closing or vice versa. I forgot. So just check it online. Just Google the answer, okay? And uh, because uh, admin or the, uh, the facilitator might ask that question, the difference between those two. And then also on the role play part, there, after the role play, there are comprehension questions. There are three questions, okay? So be very careful in uh, listening with the student's answer because there are times wherein the facilitator or the student will try to make mistakes. So make sure to correct the mistakes on the first question if there is. Second question, do not proceed to the next question until you correct the first one. Okay, so make sure to correct all mistakes and then type in the chat box. And then next part is finish the registration. Please fill out more details about yourself in order to start working as an e online English teacher. I think this part is the, uh, you have to put your intro text and you have to download your profile picture, video. So you have to complete your profile. And then after that, there, final step, you have just become our teacher congratulations now you can start working as one of our teachers so there you will receive an email once you get uh, accepted at native camp so you will receive a welcome email and then now let's go to the frequently asked questions so is it still hiring at native camp well obviously yes 
we're still hiring. And how many times can I repeat ZEPT or the English proficiency test, the 40 item quiz? So only once, one retake, uh, one take only. And then next is, do I need to finish the whole process in a day? No, you don't have to. Uh, for example, uh, you're at the, let's say, what's that? Uh, let's say fourth step. For example, you already have finished the system check. So it's okay not to finish it today. You can do it tomorrow or the next day. That's fine. So you can take the demo the, tomorrow or the next day. That's okay. Is an ESL teaching experience required? Yes, as I mentioned earlier, ESL teaching experience is a must. So we, yes, we are hiring ESL uh, experienced ESL teachers and certification is not required. Okay, like, uh, so next question, is a TESOL certification needed? No, no need for TESOL certification. With other online English schools, I think that's required, but here at ADF Camp, no, it's not. And then, can I use a wireless connection? Yes, you can use a wireless connection and you just have to make sure that uh, the speed, you have a, a high speed and also the ping is low. The lower the ping, the better. Okay, wireless connection. Uh, you can have a wireless connection, but make sure to have a stable connection. And is it okay to use a home prepaid Wi-Fi? Yes, you can use a home prepaid Wi-Fi. And then can a high school graduate or can high school graduates apply? Yes, high school graduates are free to apply. And next, how many times can I retake the demo lesson? So um, last week or this Thursday, uh, we've uh, talked to a newbie teacher and she told us that she had three demos, so retake. She had uh, three retakes. So the first one, it's the, the Nato, the grammar beginner. And unfortunately, she did not pass, but the uh, the facilitator gave her a second chance. So she had a, a re-demo. And then, unfortunately, still, she was not able to pass, but still, she was given a third chance. So there. And for the third one, uh, she had the, the grammar middle, which is... Would you mind me closing the windows? So there, the admin would uh, give you second and third chances in uh, the demo part. When will I get the demo lesson result? For the demo lesson result, it's within 24 to 48 hours, if I'm not mistaken. So you have to wait for the, for the email of the admin. And then why is the retake demo button grayed out? So it is grayed out if, uh, if like for example, so there are schedules. For example, the schedule is so from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then you you logged in at 5 p.m. So it that would still be grayed out because it's not the schedule yet. So there, make sure to be there at the exact specified schedule. And that's it, guys. So that's the simple application process here at Native Camp. It's same as before, but the, the only difference is that they are now using the grammar middle for the demo lesson. So it's um, so a bit difficult, a bit difficult uh, textbook, but uh, I, I assure you that you can still manage to do that uh, demo, to do that textbook, because uh, you just have to... You just have to check the learning kit or the, the self-learning program online. You just have to kind of memorize the lesson flow. And also be confident, okay? Confidence is the key. And just smile and use the chat box and correct the mistakes of the facilitator slash student. So there, don't get intimidated, okay? So there you have it, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. So 
If you have any comments, questions, and suggestions, just leave them below. And if you are already a Native Camp teacher, you can join our Facebook group. That is work. Uh, no, no. That is a uh, home-based Native Campers page for the Filipino teachers. And then uh, you can also follow my page. That is work from home, Momshi. And my Instagram, same as my YouTube name, that is John Rivero. So thank you so much, guys. See you next time. And good luck with your application. Bye.